that vid has opened up a big can of worms. Sorry, which, which video are you talking about? According to Veritasium, energy flows around conductors instead of inside them. Yeah, it's called the skin effect. And uh, it's real. Much to the delight of uh, audio fools everywhere. Or is he or is he is he is he talking about the skin effect there or is he talking about like it's actually the energy is actually in the magnetic field or something <laughs> you know some obscure physics thing like that <clears throat> I don't know I haven't watched it you don't think it's about skin effect okay right all right so Veritas did everyone um like let do the comments did everyone um like <laughs> sort of abuse him in the comments or whatever so thicker wire means more skin thus more current that's how it works mike more copper more better -er. yeah it's i i thought it might have been that i saw video energy if from the field physics mumbo jumbo yeah it's you know it's it's like that um it's like that video i did on does current flow through through a capacitor right <laughs> which was basically a troll video <laughs> It was a troll video. Um, and, you know, by Maxwell's equations, technically, current flows through a capacitor, right? According to Maxwell's equations. You can, you can derive Maxwell's equations and current does actually flow through a capacitor. It's, it's the, you know, how it pop, pops out of the formulas and everything. But does it actually really? <laughs> right? No, because the electrons build up on one plate and then they, you know, and then they go back the other way, right? That's how it works. Um, but technically, according to Maxwell's equations, they, they do. And if you don't believe that, so if you don't believe current doesn't flow through a capacitor, then you don't believe Maxwell's equations. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? It's one of those, yeah, it's it's all that quirky physics shit. Electro boom was um, the big thing there with um, when he was taking on uh, Professor What's-His-Nuts. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just a different way of looking at it. He says the propagation time of the electrical field. Yeah, he's talking about right. Defines the transport of energy. Yeah, yeah. He's he's probably not wrong from a certain from a certain point of view. Um, he's probably not wrong. Um, but yeah, like that's not that's useless to a practical electronics engineer. That is useless to a practicing engineer. It, it's just like current flowing through a capacitor. It's much easier. To, well, actually, this is the opposite. It's much easier to, for a practical electronics point of view to think that current flows through a capacitor, right? It's just easier to think of it that way in every practical aspect, even though that's actually the electrons build up on the plate and it's the electric field and it, the, the electrons go back. Like, eh, eh. like, it's just easier from a design point of view to think of it as flowing through a capacitor. And it's the opposite here like nobody nobody no practicing engineer thinks of all oh, propagation of electric fields it transports the energy um, well yeah that, that being said that being said at like a pcb level and stuff when you're talking about dielectrics and stuff like that 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 sort of stuff starts to matter that sort of stuff starts really to matter so if you really want to get into your pcb uh transmission line theory and the how the energy's in the dielectric and all that sort of jet like way you know it, it yeah so he's not wrong i don't think he's wrong but but my my physics is not strong enough <clears throat> sorry I've, I've forgotten all my <laughs> i've forgotten all my physics it's just not strong enough but i believe yeah if you start talking pcb transmission line theory and how the energy is transported in the dielectric and start you know how the dielectric matters and things like that yeah it's not just the conductor so yes so okay i'm gonna have to watch it somebody says regarding derek's video his approach only carries parasitic losses as only there will be losses in the field that would require ideal wires neglects effects caused by electrons on resistance yeah oh well okay if he's not even taking i squared r losses into account then jeez <laughs> yeah <laughs> did, did he even mention i squared r losses i mean holy crap 